guys, guess what we got today? Live plants from burpees. So if they're in that little box is 100 strawberry plants. So what you have to do is you have to soak them in water, soak the roots in water. Uh, so we're gonna do that. And there is four, four packs of 25. Four packs of 25. There they are. We got strawberry plants of Gilletta, Sweet Kiss, Early Glow, and AC Windy. That's it? That's it. Well, here is the strawberry plants that we got yesterday and um, we can't plant them outside really we have no place to plant them outside uh, so uh, right now we've got them in these crates that's porous they've got holes in it where the water can go through and then this is like a cloth that the water can go through that so lp lined these crates so i have nine strawberry plants in each one of these crates and we had like five of them i guess seven seven so they're doing pretty good um i had some of them where the roots was exposed so i put the dirt up around there there's really not that much thickness of dirt in these crates but i may do as best i could so um, and uh, also, um, I try to make sure not to cover up the crown because then it'll rot. But they all seem to be doing really, really well. Boy, it's hot in this greenhouse today. They're toasting up. So then we run out of those and now we have them in hanging baskets. So these will go outside once the weather permits, but this is March the 20th and uh, we don't want to take a chance putting them out this soon, but they're, they're all looking really good. So this is all of them on this side. We still have more, but I'll just show you. Uh, this is the early glow. And I have the Gilletta, and then I have the ever bearing. So we'll have them, um, you know, where they'll be ripening uh, at different times. And we got some Eco Earth coming, so I'm going to add some more dirt to these uh, containers. This is the 21st, March 21st, 2020, and um, they're really perking up. Look at that. But they're all, they're getting little shoots on them. Not all of them, but some of them. Green shoots. another green shoot. So they're doing pretty good for day two.
Well guys, today is March the 22nd, 2020, and um, this is day three for the little strawberry plants, and this is early glows. Love early glows. You want to have the soil level with the plant and you want to make sure that you don't bury the crown. So I have it right at the base. And you want to make sure when you water that the roots don't become exposed. Uh, so you want to keep that dirt up around the base of the plant, protect the crown, and we got an outside for a little bit of sunshine today. It was in, around 50 was the warmest it got today. We didn't put them out yesterday, we, we really should have, uh, because it was a little bit warmer yesterday. But you can see the little green shoots are coming on them. Not all of them. This one here, I hope I didn't bury that crown. Well, I did. I did on that one. See, and you want to be careful with those. They're tender. I did have that up a little too far. See, it's if it's buried, it's going to be an issue. So I got to pay attention to that. See there, the little shoot there in the middle. You really want to be careful with that. And there's another one. They're looking good, guys. Day three. I think they're all going to survive. And they're going to love the sunshine. I'm going to keep that soil nice and uh, moist. There's the Giletta. I love the Giletta too. And that's Giletta. And somewhere here we have another one. And I don't know. It must be all the way down here. Early glow, Giletta. Early glow. Well, I don't know. I thought we had different... Oh yeah, here we go. Sweet Kiss. That's an ever-bearing. Sweet Kiss. These are Sweet Kiss. And they're doing well. They have the little green shoots coming. I'm just thrilled, guys. But I wish we had land where we could plant them in the ground. Would have been just wonderful. This is where LP put all of our black walnuts, so it's serving a purpose now for the uh, the strawberries. Added note. You just got to use what you have. We had these. They were given to us, whatever they are. I'll call them a tote. And they have the holes in it where the water can drain out. And this is, uh, the water can go through this. It's a cloth uh, that you put down that you can use uh, in your garden. They're looking good, some of them. Look how nice that one looks there. But then some of them are like this, where they need some of these bad part of the leaves cut off. But they still, I mean, like, yeah, this, this one here still has the new growth. 
um, and that one, and that one. So I won't show you all of them, but uh, I think they're doing pretty well for the fourth day. This is how they're doing. They were outside again today, all day. Even though there wasn't any sunshine, they were getting some, I don't think there was much sunshine. Yeah, there was a little bit of sunshine. This one here is a slow starter here. It's not doing a whole lot, but it's still alive. And uh, really all of them, all 102, is still alive. I haven't killed any yet. Although LP says I'm overwatering them, I just want to make sure that the roots uh, don't dry out. And um, what happens is the soil goes down uh, and the roots get exposed. So each day I have to go around and check the roots and make sure there's no roots exposed because they can die if the roots are exposed. They can dry out. So all these are looking really good. This is day five, and they've really, really been growing. We're up here. All looks good. Okay guys, I'm going to try to do this so that you can see the um, pictures and I'm going to read this as I go. Uh, you want to choose a sunny location with loose well-drained soil uh, containing plenty of organic matter. Strawberries may be grown in containers or pyramid gardens as edging for flower and shrub borders or in matted beds or rows. So here's what we got, the bare roots. Soak the roots in lukewarm water two hours before planting. Trim roots to three inches long and pick off any blossoms or dead leaves. Using a trowel, open a hole large enough to spread roots out without bunching them. Set plants in the hole so that the crown is level with the surrounding soil line. Press soil firmly against the roots water frequently until plants are growing vigorously. Make sure root ball is sufficiently moist. Carefully on pot the plant. Set plants so the crown is level with the surrounding soil to grow strawberries in rows. Space plants 18 to 24 inches apart in rows 3 to 5 feet apart. Runners will form new plants and eventually form a solid bed. June bearing uh, plants produce the second year after planting. Cut all runners off during the first year. Leave two to three runners the second year. So up here is what to do when your plants arrive. So your plants have been shipped bare root in a dormant state and are not likely to be in leaf upon arrival. It is easier for plants to establish vigorous roots when they are planted in cool weather in a dormant state. Plant as soon as possible. If you cannot plant right away, set the plants in their shipping wrappers in a cool, dark location. If plants must be held longer than a few, than a few days on wrap packing material, moisten roots thoroughly with warm water and rewrap. Roots must never dry out. Keep them moist until they, until they are covered with soil. Expect new growth six to eight weeks after planting. Potted plants. If your potted plants cannot be planted immediately, set them in a protected place outside that receives bright light. Keep moist. 
keep soil moist, plant as soon as possible. So you set them in a protected place outside that receives bright light. So we've been taking them in, putting them in the greenhouse at night. Pest and disease control for all strawberry varieties. Grow disease resistant varieties to prevent many disease problems. Do not plant strawberry in soil where tomatoes, potatoes, eggplants, or peppers have been grown within the last four to five years. To avoid wireworm infestation, do not plant in areas where sod has recently been turned over. Whew, my arm's getting tired. Okay, what else we have here? Uh, general care. Apply a light mulch to keep weeds down, conserve moisture, and keep fruit clean. After harvest is completed, remove old foliage. Be careful not to injure crowns. Fertilize beds in early summer and again in September. Watering is very important in early summer and September. Um, winter protection for all strawberry varieties is important in most northern areas. Apply a mulch of straw or other loose organic matter two to three inches deep over the plants after the ground freezes but before the temperature drops below 20. In spring, pull the mulch back into the rows. After the plants are growing vigorously, apply a complete fertilizer according to instructions. If plants are flowering, do not fertilize.